thoughts on tonight's performance? Um, mixed feelings. Really, really happy to be back out on the park again. Been nine weeks climbing the walls, doing analysis and watching games, and now finally get to work with the players to go out and play, and, and also with the with the vibe here, with the support, it's just just amazing. Um, this might have been one of the most challenging preparations that I've had with this team. Um, maybe similar to the very first camp I had with the team. Um, very little prep time, a lot of jet lag, um, different issues with players, with playing time and all, all sorts. But uh, to then be able to, with only one training session and one video meeting, uh, be able to challenge the players with some improvement areas and they take that on with bravery, that makes me really excited. Um, so I said yesterday and can summarize that again, that our, our pressing data in terms of our organized defending in the World Cup and the efficiency in our pressing was very, very good, but we didn't regain the ball enough. And that was one improvement area today to really regain, because when you play a parked pass, you might not get through every time. So you need to regain and then attack again. So it's like a wave after wave. So that was one an improvement area. I think we were actually very good at that in stopping their transitions uh, more aggressively in the World Cup. The second one was we show in the World Cup that we were, I think, ranked second in the world in terms of getting in behind the back line with quality and control. Uh, but the waves before that, you know, breaking a forward line or a midfield line, uh, especially getting in behind the midfield, we, we were not good. And we said today, yes, we want to win, but we want to win getting one day better. So let's be brave on the ball and combine much more than we did in the World Cup. You, you saw we got dispossessed a lot in the center of the area. You can then ask, why did you pay to pressure so much? When you need to play in that central area and then back it out again to create space. If you just play around the back five, you can't get around the corners, um, which we did a mistake trying to do against Ireland, for example. So I was happy about the players' bravery, uh, but then the question about Rusty, I, I do think we were Rusty tonight, I do. I, I think there's some touches, some chemistry, it, you know, if you look at a conversion rate as well, normally our conversion rate is much better in terms of those chances that we have. And I think that's due to the lack of preparation time and the travel. Uh, you know, the little timing on that last touch, and this could have been a game where we scored about five, six goals, considering what we created. Um, individually, I want to summarize a little bit as well. I think uh, Claire Wheeler was outstanding tonight. Uh, there's a lot of players that get an opportunity now. You can. So as a coach, you can give this place a chance in friendlies, that one thing, right? But sometimes you need to be brave enough to give them a chance when it means something. And this is really an important qualifier for the Olympics and see how they react to that and play in, you know, what do you got? You know, challenge me for, for playing time. Clay Wheeler, I think, was outstanding tonight. I think Amy Sawyer, uh, especially in the second half, uh, sh should have a couple of goals maybe as well, um, showed me the things that we've seen uh, in Sweden and in training with U23. And then Ellie here, I think she's way too humble because she was outstanding as an inverted outside back. We looked at some uh, pictures from the World Cup and see how can we get more out of, out of Ellie. And also I owe Ellie a little bit because I have her in a three back in the Olympics and she didn't like that at all. <laughs> So now it's payback time. Like, okay, get up there and score some goals. I think she was amazing. Her timing on the runs to get in behind, uh, her shots is good. Um, instead of being stuck on the sideline all the time, I think a little bit more training on the timing of that, I think we might even get, get more out of it. And then one final summary is, um, and I credit City for this, uh, they've used Mary Fowler as a wide forward this season. And she has been outstanding in the league. And we said, let's try her in our environment as well. And Mary's performance, those minutes on the left side, was just mind-blowingly good. I think she was best. Just so good. Which means we have another tool now in the wide areas, uh, which is perfect for us. Uh, yeah, we actually, we, we talked to the players early in this camp and said they, they'd be prepared for rotation uh, for different reasons. Uh, a lot of players that deserve to get playing time, um, but also the short turnaround between games and the travel. So we actually gave them two preliminary starting lineup two days ago and said this is your preliminary starting lineup for game one, this is your preliminary starting lineup for game two. And now we review this performance and see if we stick with that preliminary starting lineup against Philippines and you will see a lot of new faces in that lineup compared to tonight, yes. Matt, Camino. Yeah, 
It was. It was special for me as well to be a small part of that moment. And I straight away went up to Sam after the, the game and congratulated her for the goal as well. And I think there might have been some people in the stands tonight that was a bit disappointed that Sam wasn't in the starting lineup because obviously you buy a ticket, you want to come and see Sam. But I also know a lot of people buy tickets to come and see the Matildas now, considering how we performed in the World Cup without Sam. Um, but then to see Sam get opportunity to get in and score that goal and, and celebrate that with the teammates, with the friends and the family, I think that was amazing. Emma Kemp. Uh, I got to see the last about 18 minutes from the stands. Uh, watch a little bit video on the bus coming here. Um, um, same thing as when we played them before and it's in the World Cup. It's a very well organized team and they work extremely hard and don't hesitate to tackle either. There's some physicality there that really impresses me. And you can see they have a very, very clear idea of what they wanted to do. Um, there's some, some impressive character in this team, I think, you know, down one nil as well. And then, you know, that was a key game for them. Uh, they're good on set plays. They show that once again. Um, so we know that will be a tough challenge. And when we played them last time, it was nil-nil in half time, if you remember, in the Asian Cup. And we struggled. We, we, we struggled to create something. And then finally, we we opened up the deadlock with a corner, one-nil. And then it opened up a little bit and ended up four-nil. So we know this is going to be a very, very tough challenge. Will Swanson? Um, we always know that Mary have had a, a special ability as a footballer. Her technique and her vision is, is unique, uh, have been from day one when I worked with her. Um, she had worked extremely hard on developing the areas that she needed to develop, her off-ball movement, uh, her physicality, uh, still a young player. Um, she's been very professional in that sense. Um, also to play quicker at international level. Uh, she's always been technical, but now she can use her technique with speed uh, as well. So it's credit to, to her, and, and I've said it before as well, that as a national team coach, you're really happy with all the work the clubs are doing, because. 85% of the development work happens in the clubs, and then you have the privilege to, to loan them in for nine days and try to get the maximum out of them. But I, I credit Mary as well for everything that she had put in to become the player she is today. Um, but she's also so humble to say, I still have a lot to learn. I want to get better every day. So um, she actually, I saw the spark on her eyes when she was told to come in on the wide areas today because um, she had enjoyed it in, in City as well. And, and for us, it's perfect. It gives us different tools and different positions. And you know, Caitlin Ford, since before, can also play with Sam up there and out wide. And now we have different tools and different games that we can use. So I happy to see that improvement in Mary. But also, I want to kind of you know, a little bit hold down the expectations as well, because, you know, she, she shouldn't be the one that has to carry this team or take responsibility in that sense. She should be this young player that is the, the spark and do her thing kind of thing. And then some of the other experienced players can, can carry the pressure in that. And Mary goes out and just do her thing. Right. I know everyone wants to get to the mix zone as well. Um, and I've got to get Tony onto a bus. So Blaine will be our final question. And then we'll dash downstairs to get some players as well. So Blaine. Uh, yeah, that was actually something we talked about, that we've seen it over and over again in international football, both on the women's and the men's side. No matter where you're ranked, it, teams are really well organized and prepared today in international football. And it's the most difficult part of football is to break down a, a parked bus. There's so little space there. And we could have gone um, a simpler route and said, let's just go wide and cross the ball, wide and cross the ball, create set plays, aerial presence, and kind of go that route, right? But We've been there before, and we need to take the next step as a team to compete for medals. So we said, let's not just win the game, let's win the game, try to get better in the areas we need to get better. So I think there's peers in there where we got dispossessed in the tight areas, but I also think there's more sequences tonight than any game before with good combination play. You know, it's up, back, through, the run, in, the tight, like there's some bits, like, Ellie said, there are bits and pieces that was very good, and we need those pieces now to then look at it and say, can we do that more often? So I'm happy with that we've got those pictures, but I hear what you say, because it is frustration when you try to break that down. Um, but I think we took a step in the right direction, and we're on to something. We just need to do it more often and better. There's a way to finish. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you, everyone. Tony. Thank you. Thank you.